Fitzgerald is a subject no one has a right to mess up, Raymond Chandler observed. If the poor guy was already an alcoholic in his college days, it's a marvel that he did as well as he did. But writers have messed up the subject, most notably Hemingway, with whom Fitzgerald had a troubled relationship. Critics and biographers are no exception, sometimes overpraising, sometimes maligning him. Fitzgerald was not the hero Lionel Trilling thought he was, or the lout that Geoffrey Myers makes him out to be. He was simply a man who could not suppress the various facets of his personality. At the mercy of contradictory impulses, and prone to self-dramatization, he has led biographers a merry chase. People disagree about Fitzgerald because Fitzgerald often disagreed with himself. He was all the Karamazov brothers at once, said his teacher, Christian Gauss, and he was. And yes, he was also an alcoholic. A vicious drunk, Arnold Gingrich, the editor of Esquire, called him. One of the worst I have known. Drink made Fitzgerald stupid, loud, truculent. A few shots, and he'd insult his friends, abuse his lovers, and act buffoonish. Alcohol underscored his worst tendencies, but did not engender the contradictions in his character. Fitzgerald could be charming, kind, and considerate. He could also be a jerk, a toady, and a bore. Indeed, no one behaved so beautifully when he wasn't behaving so badly. No one was such a loving husband and father when he wasn't being a terrible husband and domineering father. And no one who wanted success so badly was better at sabotaging his own efforts.